What is up guys and welcome back and this is episode 3 of my new rugby 08 world league and you see I do look at the table I'm speeding this up because I'm just showing you the players that I'm going to sign so I start off looking at some hookers and I see Dylan Hartley there I don't really want him I was just looking down all the players who's half decent and there's quite a lot of 80 something 80 three, four rated players. The and I looked to the backs and there wasn't really anyone any good there. I didn't think to myself. That's Andrew No, it's probably not his first name, but Trim Trumble, whoever his name was. I think I got the hooker there. Prop. I think I got um what was his face? Um the Welsh guy, Jenkins. Um and I got uh, who else did I get? I got. Oh, I can't remember, but um, yeah, you'll be able to see here. Uh, I think I got a decent hooker, so um, yeah, team's looking a bit better now. Got a new second row partner, eighty-five overall. I think he is. I think it's that Griffiths guy. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Should have fucking saved. I should have fucking saved, please. And you see, uh, yeah, you just see me buying the rest of the players. And we do go straight into the first game of the episode, which is against Glasgow. And this is just a league game because we've been knocked out of the cup. And they do score a nice little two on one. Or do they? No, they don't. <laughs> Stop them right in the corner. But uh, they do score straight after. It's cutting. And they do take a 7 0 lead quite early on. So that's very, very frustrating. But you see, we do get the ball in midfield. Nice bit of play. James, someone told me not to use James. Nah, mate. James is a beast. Gives a beautiful pass out to Kahui. And Richard Kahui goes under the post. He's like 68 rated, but he's an absolute beast. And Chris. I think it's Chris. Well, Heffler gets that quite convincingly. And James here, being the beast he is, was 48 overall, picks up the ball and scores. What a brilliant try there from him. And I do only just miss that conversion. Um, but you see, we are 12 7 up at half time. Just before half time, actually. And then we do give away a stupid penalty. Uh, hands in the ruck. Uh, I was just trying to turn the ball up. turn the ball over, but we do not, and that makes it 12-10 at half time, and uh, yeah, we get well, we don't have the ball at the start. They get the ball. Hamilton, I think I don't know if it's that Jim Hamilton or not. It's probably not, but he makes a break, then gives it to his 13, and score and this kicker is insane he got every single one he went for but I think every single kicker on the hardest difficulty gets everything except my guy but see look quick line out nice bit of play boom boom through the line nice bit of play out to Richard Kahui who has scored his second I think, I think at least his second might be his third I think it's his second though so Richard Kahui beasting again and um Heffler right under the posts does slot another one and oh, be quite embarrassing if I missed that one um, but you see the hooker nearly scored in his debut but no he didn't and then I give it out to Whiteman who is the second row that I did buy I think so um, yeah if you did miss that conversion I think I got it I'm not too sure. Um, but they do get a drop goal to keep them in contention. And I do get a penalty right on the 80th minute. And it's 24-20. So I just start. I just decide to smash this ball right out of the ground. Goodbye. And that's a nice little win. I'm not sure if we got the bonus point. I was, I'm, not, I'm not really counting anymore, but um, so the next game is against Cardiff, and nice bit of play in the centre. Rishkahui beasts gives that to O'Leary. O'Leary gives it to 
He looks like Lukaku, but he's not. He doesn't play for Everton. No. But um, and Whiteman nearly scores again, and get a nice bit of play. Heffler out to Liam Messam, who scores, and that was a great try there from Liam Messam, and he decides to be an absolute beast in this episode. You'll see that a bit later, and see Bates, who I think is the second. I'm not sure who he is. I think I might have already had him. No, no, he's one from before. Um, the other second one I bought. And um, see, we do go wide. Out to O'Leary. O'Leary does score in the corner. And we do miss that conversion. But, oh well. It doesn't matter if we get the tries. We need to. And there's Heffler. And Heffler does a nice kick on. Everyone's faster than him. He doesn't care. He's going to kick it on. And he'll kick it on again. And he'll pick up and score that under the posts. And that is his first try of the game and he does convert his own try which is very good and there's an awful pass there James picks up like the beast he is but it does get turned over and I do give away a penalty and he does go and slot it and that is Nicky Robinson I think he used to play for Wasps I support Wasps Wasps go Wasps um, and we do get a penalty pretty much exactly the same thing his hands in the ruck and I just decide to go for it again even though could have got another try I think I had the bonus spot anyway but look at this absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant here so Liam Messam just absolutely destroy that guy a massive handoff on him and Heffler just couldn't score under the post for his second try of the game and I only just get that one in, but look at this line, beautiful line from Sailor, and Richard Kahui does get it, beautiful line, beautiful set play, Richard Kahui does go under the posts, and Heffler does slot that again, and off set plays, we're absolutely destroying everyone, look at this, Heffler out to Kahui, out to Nawali, Nawali's gassed him! Right round the side of the fullback. Not sure who that was that he gassed, but he still gassed him. And he does go and score quite near to the posts. And then, uh, no, not no Wally. Um, Heffler does go and convert that as well. And we do get another scrum. And what happened last time was we, we made a massive break. And this time we're using the same set move. And out to Sailor. And Sailor does go in and score. And. Yeah, that was pretty much the end of the game after that. Do, do convert it. Nope, I don't think we do. Nope, actually, no, there's a bit more. Sorry about that. Nope, they do <laughs> They do go and score with um, Tom Shanklin. Yeah, I remember when he played for Wales. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Nicky Robinson does go and convert. And now this is the end of the game. Smash him into touch. I think that's 48 to 10 or 45 to 10. Not quite sure, can't really see the screen where on my editing software. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do give it a like. If you've gone all the way to the end, put it in the comments. Okay, goodbye. Thank you very much for watching.